while the captain gets his mad skills on, let's watch the video that started it all, starring the water beetles. The water beetles! Ah! There she goes again. One, two, three. One that leads to the other. To cover the one before. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh, it's not supposed to happen. Oh, Who am I going to call? Oh, come on in. The TV set just stopped working this morning. Now when the kids get up, they won't be able to see the flow show. <laughs> no worries. Let me take a look and I should have it up and running in no time. Thank you, Freddy. What's on TV? <laughs> I don't know, but it looks familiar. I can't hear anything. Can you turn off the volume? <laughs> I'm trying, but it's not working. This is the worst show ever. Change the channel. <sighs> it's on every channel. Oh no! What are we going to do? Wait, I think it's not working because it's not plugged in. <laughs> Mom! <laughs> Are you all right? Sure. We're sorry. Yeah, we didn't know you were in the TV. You just lay there for a bit. I'll get you something to drink. What do fleas like to drink? Water would be nice. Mama, what makes fleas special? What do you mean? Well, like ants are really strong. Oh, yeah. Antonio is the strongest person I know. Do you remember when? And force attack! Right up, Froggy! Soldiers, the rope! Reel them in! Time! Wow, that was close! Good job! Thank you, you sure frog tied him! You. All in a day's work. The Fruit Olympics. I've gotta go, men. Take care of this. Yes, yes sir! And here comes Antonio! Sorry I'm late. May the best bug win. What a peachy performance. A new record for the peach roll. It's up. It's up. It's up. Wow. A new garden record for the blueberry toss. 
348, 349, 350. Antonio did it. A new world record for the Apple Press. So the final standings. Flo comes in third, Hermes second, and Antonio Ant wins again. I bet Antonio can lift like, like 10 pounds. And mama, spiders can spin webs. That's true, like Webster. Do you remember Webster? Help, mama, we tried to cross the river. We're stuck in sap, we can't fly away. Hold on, kiddies. Hold back. We can't make it in time, Wormy. They're headed for the waterfall. Mama! No! Yeah, here I come. Check this out. Whoa, whoa! <gasps> Look at him go! are our very special friends. That's what. Here you are, Freddy. Oh, thanks. Now we are going to leave you alone so you can get some rest. Come along, girls. Bye, Bye Freddy. Freddy. Bye. <laughs> That's me. Just a little flea. Nothing special. Hello, Freddy. Uh, are you talking to me, God? Yes, Freddy. You seem troubled. It's just that, well, I'm a little flea. I mean, that's all I, I... Freddy, you are special because I made you. And you were always in my plan. Really? Of course. Every creature in the garden has a different part to play in my plans. Wow! Remember when I asked Hermie to build a boat? <laughs> What's this? Could it be? Rain! It's rain! But it's sunny? But it's raining! That sure is a lot of rain. Yeah, and if it continues raining this much, it'll... it'll... Oh, oh, <laughs> Maybe this is why God told me to build a boat. I think so, Hermie. God told you to build a boat? You never said God told you to build the boat! You never asked. Okay, so, who wants to come aboard? Uh, we'll file on in two. No point. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna land, guy. I'm gonna land, guy. Inside the cabin, Ensign Wormy. Aye, aye, Captain Army. Oh, yes. Get the... Here, Paul. Hold on to that. Oh. Whoa, boy. It's... It's really coming down. But, uh, we'll be safe in here. Oh, 
Uh, maybe I should go over the safety procedures. Uh, hello, and uh, thank you for sailing on Hermie Cruise Lines. Make sure you locate the nearest exit uh, here. We expect this to be no more than a three-hour tour. Now, in the event of a sinking, scream at the top of your lungs and hold on to whatever floats. If at any time you find yourself underwater, please hold your breath and pray. Hermie, be careful. Do you have any last words before you take a swim, Hermie? I do? Uh, okay, well, uh... <clears throat> Don't count your chickens before they're hatched. No, wait a minute. Uh, oh, never put off uh, tomorrow what you can do today. Huh? No, wait, forget that. Uh, shake well before using. Man, finding the last word is harder than I thought. You don't know this, but Hermie used to be afraid of water. I didn't know that. For Hermie to build the boat and carry everyone to safety, I had to make sure he got over his fear of water. Hermie, come on. The water's great. Come on, Hermie. That's OK. I can see fine from here. You don't know what you're missing. As a matter of fact, I think I'm too close. Oh, no. No. <gasps> oh, my goodness. That's Wormy. It's a sea monster. It's got me. <laughs> oh, hi. I thought you were in trouble. I, I heard you scream. Well, I did. My beach ball hit a rock and went flat. That was very brave of you. And guess what, Hermie? You're in the water. I was? I am. <laughs> hey, you know, this is not so bad. Do you really have a plan for everyone and watch out for them? Of course. Do you think Busby is brave? <laughs> the bravest and coolest! <gasps> what? <gasps> the bullfrog is loose! It's the frog! Woo! Oh, head for the hills! We know. Head for the ants bunker. You'll be safe there. Well, I think that's everyone. Except us. We've been hit. Is there a lightning bug in the house? Ah, thanks. What should we do? Anyone have any brilliant ideas? How about we yell and scream for our lives? Great idea! Oh, hey, we we here. Here. All right, you big bully croaker. I want you to stand up and get off my friends. You understand? Don't make me get rough. I got the king of the bees on my side. He created me with a stinger, and I'm not afraid to use it. Do you think he was always so brave and cool? Wasn't he? No, not always. Bullying is not cool. C-O-O-L, cool. Uh, what did you say? You got something to say to me? Uh, how's the weather up there? Oh, think you're funny. Oh, not right now. Uh, don't get in my way. That bully bee, I really don't like him, right? <laughs> Wait a second. Do you have somebody in there? <clears throat> okay, if you say so.
Running away is not cool. C-O-O-L, cool. Open up! <laughs> Come on! Hey, thanks for saving me, Busby. I'm sorry that I picked on you. Yeah, pretty cool. There's Flo listening to her water beetles. I remember when they came to town. <laughs> we had such a great time today, Flo. It's very rare that we have a chance just to have fun. I loved it. I think I'm going to write a song about you. It's just like I always dreamed. Flo, flowers the grow. The concert! The concert! We have to go! We're late! Come I'll show you the way. It's just over here. Uh, I think we're being followed. Here's a fire beam dragonfly! The van, the spider says to us, Cuckoo, a chew, sneezing all over Lingo. <laughs> what is going on here? Oh, hey, Flo. We were just telling this dragonfly bloke some stories from the road. Flo, this is Puffy. Charmed. Puffy couldn't get tickets to the show, so he asked us to stop by before the concert. He has a poster from the Let It Be tour. Very rare. I am their number one fan. That's nice. Look, guys, the concert is sold out, and your screaming fans can't wait to see you. But you said you'd sing a song. Look, Pa, we'll come by after the concert. What do you say? I said, no. Did she always love the water beetles? Let me tell you. Why can't I fly straight? Don't worry. But all the other flies can fly straight. I either go to the left when I want to go right, and I go right when I want to go left. And sometimes I go straight, but I want to go left or right. And then sometimes... Don't worry so much about it, Flo. How about to come downstairs? No, thanks. If you change your mind, come downstairs. Okay. That's not half bad. Flo! What? You were flying straight. I was? I was. I am. Who is that plan? They're called the water beetles. The water beetles? I love you, water beetles. Freddy, do you remember how Skeeter felt about his stinger? Sinclair was never afraid of anything. He was smart and he read all kinds of books and he's been all over the world and he's got a great sense of direction and he always knows where he is. And not like me, I always get lost. That's always bothered you? Oh, well, that never bothered me. Oh? Well, what did? Well, it was his stinger. His was always straight as an arrow, and mine was always crooked. 
dumb old thing. Sometimes I just want to... <laughs> dumb old thinger. Skeeter, stop it. That's not going to help. Here, let, let me try. sneeze around green peppers. Green peppers? Where? Well, over there. Past the bush down the hill. Wow. You really have a great sense of smell. That's the only thing that's good about this crazy nose. My whole life it's bothered me. Dad always loved Sinclair more. He was disappointed with my stinger. <laughs> Why did God make me this way? Why don't you ask him? God? Are you there? Always, Skeeter. Hello, Hermie. Oh, uh... <clears throat> Hi, God. Uh, nice day, isn't it? Sure it is. But Skeeter isn't having such a nice day. Well, I was just wondering, why was I born with this crooked stinger? It's always steered me in the wrong direction. The aerodynamics must be wrong. I, I think it's a design flaw. I don't make mistakes, Skeeter. Well, I wish my father and Sinclair thought that. It doesn't matter what other people think of you. It only matters what I think of you. And I think you're just right. Really? Skeeter, what's the matter? Nothing. I I just had a dream. It's it's nothing. Good. Then let's get started. I'm ready for another day of walking around in circles, covering places we've been to hundreds of times before. Look, I always get lost. Okay, I know it. I'm not perfect. I. But uh, there are some things about me that are uh, good. Skeeter, what is it? I smell raspberry juice. Yes, 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 yes. We know your nose can smell food. That'll come in handy around lunchtime. <gasps> Wait a minute. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Skeeter, where are you going? It's right over here. Oh. The thimble. <laughs> hey, guys, I found it. It's right here. I spilled raspberries here the day I found it. It's the raspberries I smelled. They led me to the thimble. He found it. He found it! That's wonderful news! Wonderful news! Skeeter, that nose of yours really smells. You know, that could be taken two ways. And do you remember Stanley? Well, the bus isn't coming. I guess I'm not going to camp. <laughs> no, I have to go. I promised my mom and dad. Oh, oh, it's going to be terrible. I just know it. God? Yes, Stanley? I don't feel so good. Tell me why. I, I, I don't want to go to camp. I, I feel so all alone. And you're afraid the others won't like you because... Because... Sometimes I stink. God... 
Why did you make me so stinky? Stanley, I made you just the way you are, and I don't make mistakes. But I'm afraid to go to camp. What if the others don't like me? I will be with you. Just remember that. Okay, I will. Thanks, God. This way, Stanley. It's time to eat. Surprise! Stanley, we wanted to do this to show you that we love you and we welcome you to this camp. We're very happy you're here. You are? You really want me around? Even with my stink? Well, God made you that way for uh, <clears throat> some reason. Even though you uh, have a certain aroma on the outside, on the inside you have a good heart. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. I've never felt so comfortable before. Everyone always runs away before they get to know me. I'm glad I came to this camp. Hey, look! Stanley's smell is going away. Yay! It's going to be a great camp now. <laughs> hey, like I made this cake, you know? It's carrot cake, of course, with tofu and sprouts. So good. what a tube of toothpaste feels like. Sorry, guys. When I'm afraid, I start to stink. God made me that way. It's a good thing he did. And because of that, you protected all of us. You're right. It's a good thing God made me stinky. God, I now understand that you have a plan for all of them. But why did you make me such a little flea? I mean, what can I do? An ocean cannot be made without the first drop of rain, Freddy. You are like that first drop of rain. Huh. I'm not sure I understand. Hermie and the rest of your friends believe in me. Their faith has helped guide them in times of trouble. Boy. I can't imagine where we would be without you, God. <laughs> there are those who don't know me, Freddy. And that is where you can help. If you go out and spread my message to others, you will be like the first drop of water that became an ocean. <laughs> it's just like the Bible says in Mark 16. Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Yes, Freddy. Wow, even a little flea like me can make a big difference. That's right, Freddy. <laughs> Thank you, God. Hey, hey, Freddy, <laughs> what are you up to? This is a big garden, and there's some who don't know God. But by spreading the word of God, we can help them find their way as God helped me find mine. What can we do? Well, help me teach everyone in the garden about God. I'm going to need your help because this is so much bigger than me. 